Why is it that some vehicles can tow tens of thousands of pounds down the road, while others can't? Both diesel and gas vehicles rely on internal combustion engines to get the job done, but perform at very different levels. While there are many variables at play, an engine's compression ratio directly influences a vehicle's power and efficiency. Wyotech's Brian Schuster, diesel tech instructor of over 10 years, explains. So in an automotive engine, we compress an air-fuel mixture. As the piston goes up, it compresses the air inside the cylinder. We have a spark plug at the top of the cylinder. The spark ignites the fuel. We have an explosion inside the cylinder, pushing the piston down. When the air-fuel mixture is ignited, the resulting explosion is more powerful with compression applied. And a more powerful explosion means more force pushing the piston down to propel the vehicle forward. So, more compression equals more power and fuel economy. On a typical automotive engine, we're somewhere around nine to one compression ratio. To give you how this would work, we could take nine people, squash them into the place of one person, and that would be then a nine to one ratio. Your average four cylinder economy car with a nine to one compression ratio can move roughly one to 2,000 pounds. Engineers strive to design engines with higher compression ratios. However, engines become more stressed and volatile under greater amounts of compression. One way to design a more powerful engine with a greater compression ratio is to make it bigger, with stronger materials, like that of a semi-truck diesel engine. In a diesel engine, we have a much higher compression ratio. In a diesel engine, we have an 18 to 1 compression ratio. So we would take those 18 people squash them into the area of one person. This is a 16 liter Volvo diesel engine, like the truck you see behind it. And it will move product, a trailer, and a truck down the road that could weigh as much as 80,000 pounds, so 40 ton. While there are many factors at play when it comes to an engine's power and efficiency, now you can see the compression ratio has a major influence. Thanks for watching. To learn more, be sure to check out our other videos exploring the diesel tech and automotive industry.